Hey everyone, I'm King. Welcome back to King Speed channel. So the priest's new resurrection skill cooldown had been adjusted to 15 seconds. The previous cooldown is 3 seconds. Upon updated, players are raging on this adjustment. By prolonging the resurrection skill cooldown, it can be said that the skill is nerfed. But that is not all. The resurrected party members is now revived with only 10% HP as opposed to 25% HP before the adjustment. To compensate the reduced HP, the revived player is given a 35% final damage reduction for 3 seconds so that you can stay alive longer for another 3 seconds, giving you enough time to take panacea and also potion to replenish your HP. So what does this mean? Let's talk more about that in this video. If you are lost at what I just showed you just now, well, if you happen to miss it, it is about the latest priest resurrection skill adjustment in the game. On January 10th, 2022, ROX official on the FB page and also on Discord announced that there will be an adjustment on the resurrection skill for priest. This adjustment as mentioned is made in preparation of the War of the Chosen event, or WOC in short. I will explain more about the event in the separate video. This adjustment was made with the PvP mechanic in mind. If you had participated in PvP, especially KVM in ROX, a strong and tanky priest with full VIT build and also 100% anti-stun and anti-freeze, they are very hard to kill. If one is not enough, imagine a double priest in the party, which is a popular team setup in KVM. It is almost impossible to be defeated. A one session of KVM can last up to 15 minutes to half an hour. Well, until the timer goes up, that is. This adjustment is an attempt to change that so that the KVM can be concluded faster. The adjustment didn't take consideration on the PvE part. For doing instance an eternal tower for example. With longer resurrection skill cooldown, it means that it will take longer time to finish doing instance and eternal tower. Well, it may seem not a problem for a strong and powerful character with gold equipment from head to toe, the average build players on the other hand will be affected. Now, since the update, players also have been wondering if this adjustment also have the same update for the ROX counterpart, the Taiwan server. Upon looking up, the resurrection skill at Taiwan server do not have the same adjustment. It is still having the previous skill mechanism. Skill fixed cooldown is still at 3 seconds. Now, what does this mean? This adjustment is a rare one from Southeast Asia server. This is the first time that a game developer in SAS server altering the mechanic of the gameplay. Previously, up to now, all the game changes in SAS server had been following the Taiwan server. From the event, costumes, the shop pants, the new map, the new monster. It is safe to say that SEA adopts everything from Taiwan server. Although not everything, the Regna Cycle and Barong Mask was a pleasant addition exclusive for SEA server that later on make its way to the Taiwan server eventually. So this adjustment is an innovation from SEA server itself. The game developer is deviating from the Taiwan server gameplay and changing the game mechanic to suit the SEA region community play style. But maybe not entirely. Maybe there are already a discussion have been made from both parties that this will be the next update. An SA server is to implement the update first and will follow suit by Taiwan server, just like the Regna Cycle and Barong Mars. At the moment, we can only assume and guess. Alright, now that the adjustment has been made, should we be worried about it? On the third job later for Archbishop, we will have a new skill set. And one of the skills we will get is the Epic Lessis skill, which is an OP skill if you ask me. This skill is an upgrade of the Resurrection skill. It can revive all of the party members in 30 meter radius. However, it have a long fixed cooldown, a 60 seconds fixed cooldown. So you can only use it once every one minute. If you are interested on the rest of the Archbishop skill or the other third job skill like the Runite, Ranger, Warlock, 
mechanic angulating cross for that matter, I have made a third job skill preview video on that. If you want to watch it, the link is at the video description below. So what do you think of the new adjustment? From here onwards, since the developer is now taking matters on their hand, we can expect that there will be adjustment for the other job class as well. So be prepared on that. Well, they actually mentioned that in the post. Other job class adjustment will be carried out one after another. I wonder which job class will be adjusted next. Well, which job class you want to be adjusted? Please put your comment in the comment section down below. Alright, that's it for this video. This video shout out goes to Thank you for always supporting me and this channel. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. It is free so you don't have to pay for it. And also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. That's it for now. I'll see you on the next video. And as always, happy playing. Bye-bye.